Is the new tow truck business worth it inside the salvage yard? You have to pay $1.1 million for the upgraded truck, which does go faster and it looks nicer. Or about $600,000 if you want to get the, the slower tow truck. Uh, if you're doing it anyways, if you have the money, I would get the faster one just because it's easier all around, easier to do. But can you make your money back with this? That's what I want to know. So I did some testing. We're going to look at the tow truck pay, the AFK pay, and the safe pay, which this is how you get massive money using the safe inside of the new business. So let's say you upgraded this all the way. That's what we're going to be looking at. Fully upgraded salvage yard with the fully upgraded tow truck and the staff upgrade. So with that, you can source two cars at a time. So once you buy everything, go source two vehicles. Now this will take around 5 to 10 minutes each. 10 minutes on the very slower and farther away. 5 minutes when it's kind of closer and easier just going there, picking it up and dropping back. So the payout for these vehicles once you get them back. First you have to wait an in-game day. So by the time you bring it back, then set a timer for 48 minutes in real life. That is one in-game day, which is how long it takes for the staff members to salvage the vehicle and get the parts. Now these vehicles pay from around $30,000 to $40,000 in GTA cash every in-game day. And it's kind of obvious when the smaller ones, when the less valuable ones come in versus the higher valuable ones going into the high $40,000 range. For example, I got the tornado on this clip you're seeing here, which paid exactly $30,000, probably the lowest they have. And then another clip, I got the a supercar, which paid around 38000 So that's the range you're going to be expecting with these vehicles. Which means the maximum you can earn is $80,000 for two vehicles. So again, you have to wait about 48 minutes in real life, which means you will be getting $40,000 every 48 minutes. Or 80000 if you do two of the highest value vehicles. Now put a, uh, so first put a safe area around, let's say 60,000 to 80,000 if you do two vehicles because you're not going to be getting two $40,000 vehicles each time. It's going to be around the thirty to $40,000 range. So really, it's not reliable at all because you have to, because you're working with different value vehicles, but it's AFK. So what else are we expecting really? So to break this down for you, if you spend about 50, 10 to 15 minutes getting two of these vehicles and then you have to wait 48 minutes to get at most $80,000. So really, you have to spend about, let's say 10, 15 minutes. So subtracting the 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes you spend collecting the vehicles, you're really getting about half, maybe over half of that for your total net AFK money making payout since it's only about half AFK taking 10 minutes to collect two vehicles. So most people would probably say it's $80,000 AFK money make method, but really it's about 40, $50,000 AFK true AFK. When you get the vehicles and then set your controller down for 48 minutes, that you're really getting 40 to 50 AFK. Now moving to the safe, the, a fully upgraded safe holds up to 250 thousand dollars and the true afk safe isn't that good because it does slow down when you're not being active it's kind of like the nightclub where if you get to your lowest population it slows down a lot so when you are doing missions sourcing the vehicles doing these tow truck missions you are getting actually a pretty big bonus between starting this up with zero money in the safe doing two of these missions waiting 48 minutes i got an extra twenty thousand dollars in the safe just for doing this for one in-game day. And that's not even with a fully active safe. Like you could be doing a lot more to get more money. Like doing the missions for Yusev. Which does give you an extra bonus on top of this. But just doing the tow truck alone. I got 20k for one in-game day. So this is where we're at. Is doing all of this worth it? If Is paying almost 2 million dollars for the tow truck the staff upgrade, the safe upgrade isn't worth it. How can you make your money back? You have to do 30 of these missions to make your money back. It just standard prices. 
we are expecting this to be double money, maybe the tow truck triple money next week, but just standard prices, you're going to have to do a lot of these tow truck missions. And because you can only do two a day, that's going to take you about maybe three weeks a month in real life to do this, just playing casually. So it's going to take a long time to make your money back with tow truck missions. But if you do spend a lot of time on GTA Online, which I do not these days, you can make your money back. Take advantage of the triple money events, double money events with the tow truck, and you could probably make your money back, but it still might take a while, like uh, at least two weeks of real life time grinding this tow truck in game alone to make money back on the tow truck. But comparing that to the $5 million plus you spent fully upgrading the whole business, adding on top of the use of missions with those vehicles, you're going to make your money back a lot faster. So combining these two is really what you want to do. You don't want to just stick to the use of missions. You don't want to stick to your tow truck missions. You want to do both of these. So I'm going to be grinding out this, doing both of these combined. And that's how you're going to make your money back the fastest way, obviously doing both of these. And I think this is what this business is for. You want to do both of these on top of each other. With the bunker, you do the bunker, then you do some other businesses on top of that. With this, you just do use of missions, then the tow truck on top of the use of missions. And you're going to make your money back pretty fast. I think I made about already half of my money back just by doing these a few times. Now, like I touched on, on my salvage yard business guide, you can only do three of the use of car collections a week and selling those a week, which is crazy. They are really drip feeding they are really drip feeding that much of this update that you can only do three a week and they will be adding new ones. So that's kind of cool. I kind of like it to be honest, but you can only do a total of three of those vehicle collections and sells a week. And then the tow truck, you can only do two per in-game day, which is 48 minutes in real life. So this business is honestly not that bad. It's not good, but you just have to know how to make your money back with this business and the tow truck 80 thousand dollars per day at most again i think the least may be like 50 40 000 a day at least but that's that's pretty decent if you add it on top of the use of missions by itself no it's like the taxi missions by itself you're not getting anything the taxi missions is even worse though this is pretty much a copy and paste of the taxi missions but a tiny bit better but when you really want to do this is when the double money weeks come out maybe even triple money for the tow truck missions when those come out, you're going to want to do this because that is how you're going to make your money back. So is it worth it? I'm really just 50-50. If you have the time, if you have the money, if you want to do it for fun, it's worth it. If you're just a casual player, not really doing these businesses every day, do not buy this because it is not worth it at all for you. But I just showed you guys how to make your money back from the tow truck business. So if you got anything out of this, Go do it and tell me what you guys got because this video is going to sh show you how to make your money back with it. $80,000 per day with the tow truck missions. Semi AFK. I think it's not, it's pretty, it's pretty fine. It's fine. I think it's pretty fine. But be looking out for the double money weeks with the tow truck missions. That is how you make your money back with this in the fastest way possible got this far probably means you liked it leave a like and subscribe to see whatever video i make next